This modest olive farm in rural southern France barely stands out from the wooded hillsides. But for the young migrants camped out here, it's a rare safe haven on a perilous journey. There's legal assistance, food assistance, clothing assistance, because we have clothes. With Doctors of the World, we provide medical help and we advise and reassure them. Cédric Eru owns this farm and regularly puts up asylum seekers here, sometimes after helping them cross the Italian border. Most of them say they are minors, some waiting to be taken in by social services, while others continue their journey north. Cédric is good. It's good at his place. We came by the train route. It's very hard, very risky. But the 37-year-old's actions have riled up authorities as they try to enforce border controls reinstated after the terror attacks on French soil. Eru has already been arrested three times and is currently awaiting a verdict. I'm not sure I'm breaking the law. I'm helping people who are suffering. And what's more important? Isn't the right to human dignity more important than the fact of giving someone a ride in your car? I think it is. Critics say Eru is using his arrest and trial to force a critique of national immigration policy. And many question the wisdom of undermining border control at a time when national security is at the forefront of France's policies. But with a steady stream of people venturing through their valley, local residents are increasingly compelled to step in, with several sanctioned for providing assistance in recent months. And Eru's outspoken defiance has largely garnered him support. You can't say he's being irresponsible. He's human, that's all. You can only support him in what he's doing. <laughs> Though he has no intention of changing his ways, Eru is realistic about the consequences he could face. I think I'll probably end up in jail. If I get a suspended sentence, then I'll end up in jail. And after that, I hope it won't be for too long. If I get a couple of weeks, that's fine. I hope I don't get more than that. We'll see. I have no idea what's going to happen. With a sentence due on February 10th, Eru will soon get his answer. But a solution to the migrant crisis is proving far more elusive.